Shimano sent us some new rods, reels and lures to test. Finally, with a calm forecast for two days, we load up the mighty Senator 650, crank up the Yamaha 225 and put the new Shimano gear to the test on some angry South Island Kingies and Snapper. Just gone 8 o'clock Friday morning. Me and Barty are heading up to Derwell for an overnight mission to chase some kings and some snapper. Oh, mainly more kingfish actually. Well, unfortunately due to the tides, we'll have to spend a bit of time chasing the snapper. But we don't really want any. We're actually probably going to go for some gurnard, cod, and maybe a few different species actually this time. I've got a heap of new gear. New parcels are turned up from Shimano. Pretty jacked up about that. Got the new Ingetsu 150 reel. Got the new Ingetsu rod XR with that as well. It went pear shaped, pal. Yeah, got that breeze coming across on the Yeah, well, to start with it was all good. Then I started yapping to the camera and then it just went real pear shaped. Now I just don't even know what I'm doing. We're good, pal. Got the all new Osea Tiger Limited rod as well. And also got the new Rakujan lures. They are a complete game changer on the market and something very different. And this is the first test with them. Enough talk, we're gonna drink our coffee and make the two hour run up to Durval. You, you ready, buddy? I'm ready. Let's go. You just need to up your car wide game, pal. We're just outside of Okiwi actually. In behind us here we've got Delaware over here and this is Kokoroa over here. And you can see there the wind just funnels straight through the South Island and it seems to all come out this little valley over there. And it was back there about a couple k's it was pretty rough. Pretty choppy side on which it always is through there. Out of Nelson we had that Southwester which is never forecast but it's always there. We've just seen a bust up of a Kahawai and Barty's trying to catch one but he's not doing too good. <laughs> That's a big work up behind us over there, buddy. As soon as we go there, they'll come back over here. Every time. We don't really want to go back and go forward, though, do we? No, we don't. We'll find another one. Do they throw anything under us? Uh, yeah, a little bits and pieces. Nine metres down. Come on, yeah. Or what? Better? Well, better. Yeah. Made our way up to the western side of Durval and we just stopped for something different. We're going for some carrots. We're at the carrot spot and Barty got one straight away. Now he's into another one. It's all go. Oh, what? Trevelli. It is a Trevelli. <laughs> oh, look at that. I knew you was dogging down a little bit. <laughs> Funny Trevelli. You and your dog are down. Oh, you're just going to bring him straight in. Yeah. Look at that. Sure, he isn't bad on it. No, nah, he's pretty good. That's another species. Yeah. <coughs> Gurnard spots, also got Trevally. I just got a good carrot, actually. We'll take a photo of him on the measurement. He's a cracker. Are we dropping again? Yeah, if you want. All right. Go on. Um, I think he's going to get knocked on the head, that one. Is he in the bin, is he? Operation Hunter Carrot was success. Actually, Carwai was a success, which is good. We've got a couple for the measure comp. Trevelli? Carry on. Trevelli. Oh, yeah, Trev as well. That's good, actually. I, I forgot about the Trev, mm. even though we measured it. Right, uh, snapper time now. We want a giant snapper, world record snapper. Well, that 30 pounder. But we're always going for that 30 pounder. 
Well, I've just hooked up and I haven't got them off the bottom yet, but I'm not sure what it is. It's not really pulling line. There's heaps of boats that are just coming, turning up now, so I'm going to try and pretend I haven't got a fish on. Just casually look around, nothing's going on. Point the rod at them so it doesn't look like anything's going on. A couple of head nods there. It's not really going hard, buddy. That's what those big ones do. Remember? Yeah. Ooh. Dude, that stella is so smooth, eh? <laughs> Sometimes that last trip I did with Shane, the boats were some, there was two boats were literally probably 10 metres away. One dude even threw the lure over near us. What's happening over there? What's, what's the verdict? I don't know, but he's stit. I was too busy whinging about boats. Real even, wasn't really even winding. Maybe JD. We've got leader. Oh no, it's a snapper. He's definitely not good condition though. Well that's our first snapper and he's probably eight pound. Any good? There was wicked wings too though, obviously. Because there was wicked wings battering there. Dwayne and the boys behind us there just dropped off some good luck KFC. <laughs> How good's that? How's that for a delivery? Dropping off a, some delicious KFC snack pack. Eat and go. Oh, look at that sign there. Yeah. Wow. Uh, it's my bag. Yep. On to a good fish now. Oh Jesus, buddy! These are good fish, pal. Oh mate, we got we're miles out the back, aren't we? Out of All right, look at that big slug. How good! So we were we we're just trying shallower, and anyway, there's so much sign there. Barty dropped and got a good snapper. And then I just dropped and got him on the way down, actually. So happy days. He's about 80 centimeters. He'll be easily 20 pound. Big slug. We might see if he'll go back, actually. Yeah, he's gone. He's a hardy bugger, isn't he? Yeah. I actually just got new neoprene gloves to hold the fish. So a bit better grip, grip, less chance of taking the slime off, and they're easier to put on, take off actually, especially when they're wet. Actually, they're still dry on the inside. But he went straight away. That's a good fish party. And that's awesome, he went back. Happy days, mate, happy days. That's an awesome snapper, actually. Full snapper, 20 pounds. I didn't get a... We realised after I didn't get a photo, but I can get a screenshot anyway. Which is not as good, but it was a wicked uh, snap. And we didn't muck around, we put them on the measure mat, 80 centimetres, and put them straight back in the water. I'm wrapped about that. That's a good slug. We're going to go now and target some kings for the afternoon, and then have a snapper fish for the evening, I think. We'll see how we go with kings anyway. Good fish, dude. Are you doing it on my rod? Yeah. Shit, because that line's around. You got my rod? Good fish. It's a good start, isn't it? Yeah. Oh well, that's the first uh, kingy. That's a good king. Real good, pal. Real good. Working for it. Trying to get some decent. Good job. Took a warm up. Yeah, there we go, he's a nice king. Oh, what would he be? 26 kilo or something probably? Something like that, 25? I don't know. Maybe a bit less. Awesome, pal. Cool? Yep.
Barty just stood on the measure mat. But to be fair, we've just been pushing aside all day instead of rolling it up and getting it out of the way. Of course, he's nearly slipped over twice, and we're still left it out after whinging about slipping up over it. Classic Barty and Mark. <laughs> Well, that's a good first king anyway. Oh, it's just gone three o'clock. Barty's just making some emergency phone calls to work and stuff. That one good king no, he, he got, I had another one on, but it dropped him. Nothing else going on. Caught up with Dan on Stealth, his yeah. 770, oh, and the boys have been slaying some kings and some snapper, and, and now we're just gonna go for a jig in a new spot. Carry on, probably the rest of the Arvo for kings, actually, till maybe another hour, and then go for snapper again. Maybe. 3.45, a TR or a trip report. Buddy jigged up a little rat kingy before. He's a little nubby little thing. We're still hunting for kingies actually. What's the plan, Buddy? Do you want to keep do know. do you want to keep doing this or do you want to go for snapper? I'll have a look for a little bit longer than go, Yeah. That wind's gotten up a wee bit. Have you checked the forecast at all, dude? No. Oh, it won't be updated anyway. How come so many people message you when you're fishing? Or ring you, hey? In total, I think I've got 22 messages. Kingy slow, we're now having a hunt round for a snapper. We just had a double hook up, I lost mine, Barty landed his one and we didn't even bring it on board, we just released it straight at the side of the boat. That's a good start and there's piles of sign. It is snapper-tastic. Oh, yep, straight on. <laughs> Oi! Holy s <laughs> smokes, dude. I don't know where he's running to. There's nowhere to, he's on the bottom. <laughs> I did say it was gonna be an epic evening snapper fish, eh? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, this is a donkey, buddy. Oh, he's still taking on. <laughs> why, why do you look so serious? I'm just wondering where he is. <laughs> I'm pr oh, he's probably under the motor, dude. It's not really much of an angle. You're all right uh, that way, are you? Oh, dude. Yeah, mate. He's just a little bit under the motor, but it's all good at the moment. Neat pal. He's actually an awesome fish. He's got some marks on him. He's got some bruises, all right. There you go, team. You probably can't see him. Oh, there you go. Look at the scars on the top of him there. That is another awesome fish. I'm going to put him back. All that screaming is I've got to pull muscle in my arm. That's what it's been. Not a lot of me holding fish, actually. He out of way then, didn't he? You in? Yes, you are. But he's instantly in. That was quick, pal. He was on the drop. Don't have to show off about it. <laughs> 15 pounders, yeah, it's got you all over it today. You reckon that one would have gone 20? 18? It was a good fish, eh? Report just gone. What was the time? Not 7:30, eh? Yep. 7:30. 
end of the evening we started getting smaller snapper and you know earlier how I said about that guy that always wanted to catch a 20 pound but doesn't that's in there <laughs> he, got, he got to watch us today sorry Willie we didn't mean to catch a big snapper in front of you pal how long have you been trying to get a big snapper a few years mate <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's, Too long. You sound so depressed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is depressing. <laughs> We've pulled up next to Dwayne. We've got Briggsy over in the corner there, Barty there. Uh, Dwayne's inside cooking us a delicious tea. And we're parked up here for the night. How did you guys go today? You got heaps of snapper, eh? Good view. You're happy with your day? Happy with the day. Do you enjoy watching the um, little detergent catching snaps? No. <laughs> <laughs> Work. Lots of phone calls and messages today. Do people just know when you're fishing and all decide to ring you on that day? I think it could be, yeah. 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 What is this boat? What is a timber? It's not a timber net, is it? I don't know. What, what is this boat, Dwayne? It is a bar net. Is it a bar net, Dwayne? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a bar net. We're going to shiggy Jimmy a fish, aren't we? <laughs> Do you know what you're doing with that thing, Willie? No, I don't even know how it works. No, you don't. Please help, Mark. I'm coming. He, he needs all the help that he can get. He's no good at this. Oh, here he goes. Some of this. You like that? That's yep. <laughs> this is the. Um, all the gear, no idea, isn't it? <laughs> really? <laughs> so you buy the gadgets but just leave them in the bag and don't use them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fair call, Chas. That, yeah. that there should come off, shouldn't it? Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see Dwayne. Yeah. How's tea going, Cappy? Yeah, oh, he's got a bit of venison going, a bit of food away. Cheese, salad, bread, mayonnaise, real mayonnaise. Get us some back, mate. You look like things here. Really. Not just about the fishing, mate. I know. I don't have the space like you, pal. I know that. But, yeah. We make it. We make it work. But this is awesome, eh? That's why we. That's why we thought we. Yeah, you sure. Know, I got the quality, treat you tonight. Uh, we appreciate it. Ball. Do we get a bunk in here too? Yeah, you can if you want. Let's all get in here and snuggle up. Yeah. You can probably you get a diesel heater in here, eh? Yeah. I just said again, the pool, but just turn it off while I'm cooking. Oh yeah, that'll heat it up pretty quick, eh? Yeah. yeah. What are you doing, Brian? Making some cheese, cheese brother. Oh, jeez, fantastic. Let's hear from the coach himself. The coach That's what I do. <laughs> Don't show that to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> so, chop through the tail. I'll let you do that because that knife's about as sharp as oh, it. That's a butter knife. Yeah, down, champ. It's probably more so the back of the fish, not right up by, uh, halfway up the side <laughs> of the fish, but we'll, we'll just work with that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Is that enough? Yeah, no, just, yeah, no, you want to carry on down through. Oh, right through. Yeah, if you can. Well, not with this. Hey, line. watch the wonky gonk. Someone's <laughs> going to kick that over we're going to lose it. How do you fling cut it when it's so bloody? Well, you get a man knife. Oh, not, not, not. There's no one ever sharpened that. No. But you've got to be close to the spinal cord, is that what you're saying? Yeah, straight above the spinal cord, there's an uh, upside down V, if you imagine, imagine yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Which, that's it there. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there we go. There you go. That's it there. See, it's just above the spinal yep. cord. I'm trying to point it out again. <laughs> right there. Right, it's just gone 10.30. The boys cooked our tea up and we enjoyed them for tea on the big rig next door. That was awesome. We got, they even got Sky on the boat. But he's cut. currently catching live baits for tomorrow's mission for John Dory's. Plan is tomorrow, Kingfish, John Dory, Snapper, and then home, I think is the plan of attack. Currently, we've got about 10 or 12 Mackies for ready for tomorrow. But you know, pretty good day. Epic having a few tins with the boys next door here. It's pretty mint them cooking our dinner too. A bit gutted Willie hasn't got his big snapper. One day maybe. <laughs> Are you guys backpacking now? Is that what that clicking noise is? Just process all their fish in there and backpacking it now. It's a well oiled machine. Willie's a bit slack, the other boys are good. It's all going next next door, that's a, that's a processing factory. In fact, I'll show you guys all the bins and tables. Pretty impressive, actually. 
we actually threw our fish over and they um, processed it for us. So I've got to say, I'm pretty happy about that. Still going. One more Mackie and we're done. Or you're just giving up now. No, no, he's not. He's going one more. Um, it's pretty cold actually. I'm double, double tethered in jackets. Morning team, just gone. Whew, a brisk 6 a.m. Not a bad night's sleep actually last night. Pretty broken. It was all good. We've just handed over our Harris bacon to the boys next door. They actually woke up saying, hey, you guys want to cook your bacon? And so they're actually cooking our bacon for our lunch today. I didn't actually film the meal Dwayne put on, but I should have because it was impressive. Got to say a massive thanks to Dwayne. Willie and Briggsy, those boys put it on for us last night and it's much appreciated. I'm trying to do my zip at the moment, it's not working. Barty's just getting the liveys out and putting them back in the livey well from our livey cage and we're into it. Once we get our bacon back anyway. Just getting one of these cuts and catch out of the load if you want to make a little bit of 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 That's pretty awesome, the lads are now decided to cook us brekkie as well. And we're having hash browns, bacon, bread, and they're making a coffee to go as well. Thanks lads! Yeah, they can't hear us, don't really care, I don't think, to be fair. Which one? The small one? Your buddy's got all the bacon, your buddy's got all your bacon. Your buddy's got all the bacon, so... Thanks lads. You need to fight that out. Sure we can just, we can just... If you don't unhook, we can just drag you along. Let's we'll say <laughs> six bucks in fuel, get up there. Right? <laughs> we'll let you know if the big ones are on, then where they are. Just gone eight o'clock. We've been hunting for a kingy on the change of the tide, but just keep just giant uh, car wipe. We'll carry on anyway. Then we're going to go for a snapper. Was it your leader? Nah, just the bloody lure again. Okay, nine thirty. Move to a new spot where I'm currently four barkus down to Kuda. Uh, one snag. Two snags and two cooter. That one I retied after whinging last time. Instant drop. Got 30 meters down, bang, gone. Uh, yeah, I'm spiraling now. But just after I did that last talk, the live bait pumps died. I think we sucked something up into the live bait pump like a bit of weed, so that's died. And we're just using the deck wash now to keep those liveys alive. And soon after I whinged about getting us uh, getting cooted, Barty got a snag and lost his bottom ship. <laughs> oh, what a crappy morning, Barty. But it's good we're up here. And it's hot, calm and it's hot. Just caught up with all the boys, Shanos and Honky Dory. How do you do, Marco? Good, mate. And Dan on stealth. Just had to catch up with them. We're going to go and harass Willie now. Go and have a, have a chat to those boys. Get Willie on camera with his um, 20 pounder. But we're just going to tell him it was probably more around 18, 19. Just to wind him up. <laughs> We just pulled up to no, Willie and the boys. We have a cool one. Did you get it? Did you get a good one, Willie? Yeah, mate. Yeah. The Willie. size and stuff that we were looking, we reckon was probably around 18, 19. Yeah, yeah. I Not agree. quite 20. 
I think you're way full of shit. That lead weight weren't good in it. I thought though. you'd be on our side picking on him. No, no, I'm sorry. I, I feel for him because I actually have to do some skillful backing and fuck him out of his body. He's in this place. <laughs> well done, Willie. Thanks, well done. Happy as I really did. I really had to do some skillful backing and throw the bow thruster on. Oh, so it's more so you than Willie. It's a team effort. I was just, I was just the white corner. You, you know how it goes. Well, me and Barty just got a double hookup of snaps. How big, Barty? Oh, eight, nine pounders. That was a double right at the same time. Dropped right in a school. So, that's our first fish of the day. We made up a slurry, bleed them, inkajee with them, and put them on ice. Next drop, we just missed a big patch through there, eh? That's Willie and Dwayne and that coming up behind us now. I just drove past them and said that we just both got a double 20 pound book up. And I was just talking rubbish. <laughs> Turned around and looked at Willie. I think Willie used some, what a cuss word. That starts with uh, maybe F. <laughs> I don't know if I've got, I've got a snag, I think. What? I've got a snag. Yeah. Stella's back on. Yeah. Good fish, pal, I think. Definitely doesn't want to come off the bottom, pal. Can you spin around into the... This is impossible trying to get Barney to do the camera. <laughs> Good fish. Yeah. Wait. That's good. Good shit. Good fish. Good fish. Stella's back in. Back in. We've been pretty slack at tagging, like I said. So we got the tag kit out. We've got a tag ready. That big snapper I got before we let him go. He went off pretty good, eh, Barty? So we're getting pretty good at um, getting them in and out. We broke the measure mat, but we actually found a whole new measure mat. Yeah, what we're gonna do is tag and tag and release. The next ones we get from now on again, get our shit sorted. This guy just took like 20 meters on the first run. And we're moaning once again about how hot it is. And the forecast is spot on. To be fair, there's not that many boats for the forecast, eh, Barty? And lots of guys are headed back good run but I just think he's just one of those he's just a good size Danny we'll tag him eh yep we're gonna tag this guy and put him back it's too hard to film and tag guys so yeah sorry right team I'm gonna have a go with the new Shimano Rakushan Lua have you just hooked up, Barty? I'm about to do the video on the Rakushan, pal. Can you unhook that, thanks? <laughs> but the new Rakushan, as you can see on the side, guys, there's this little release pin here. You pull that out, it splits the lure into two. And then, on the hook skirts, you've actually got a little plastic bit there that adjusts back and forth to suit the different sizes. On the back here, you've got the interchangeable hooks. You've got the Kevlar cord through to the hooks there. So you basically, in fact, you've got a five piece lure. You've got the basic pick here that the head goes onto. You've got the braided line to the hooks. You've got the plastic bit there that holds the skirt. And I've got the little upgraded rubberized skirt there from Shimano as well. All I have to do is put that clip onto. I need to let some slack off my line first, buddy. It's going, pe it's going very pear shaped, pal. What the? Oh, there we go. That's why. Rightio, so I just pulled that open, team. I'm going to clip that side into there, like so. I'm not sure. Hopefully, you guys can see that. The other half's going to go on, and then you just push that little wire bit shut, and there you go. That is the new Shimano Raku, or Ra Rakujan. Right, first time use. Oh, shit, we like the end of the drift anyway. Where are you, pal? Oh, my God. Jesus, that didn't work very well. 
Right, I'll turn the camera off because I'm being a poor skipper at the moment. I better come up. God damn it. Ngitsu 150 and the Ngitsu Rod XR. Fish on, buddy. What just happened? What happened here? <laughs> I think a shark might have got it. Did it? Oh no, it's still on. Wow. Wow, what happened dude? I don't know. Did he just decide to go for a big burn and run? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The best thing about the new Ngitsu is it is a spool driven level wine reel. So what I mean by spool driven is no matter what the spool's doing, whether it's coming in or going out, the lever wind will guide that line onto the reel. So the Ngitsu's got the exciting drag. It's also got an oversized EVA handle, Hagani body which is the cold forge, so when Shimano talk about Hagani it's cold forging, so what I mean by cold forging is they make a mould, they put a, put a chunk of metal in that mould then they force it into the shape, so it's not a die cut or precision cut, it is cold forge, so when Shimano talk about Hagani that's what Hagani is, cold forging. Probably noticed that little lever I was using on the side, that's a four lever. When you disengage the spool, the line drops, you can use that four lever to control the rate of the lure. So the beauty of that is if you're slow jigging, you can speed up and drop a lure instead of thumbing that spool. This reel is a specialized slow jig reel. Closer to the bottom, I'm just slowing that down, so try and get a pick up on the fall. But that's so much easier controlling it with that little spool on the side. It's gutted I lost that fish, Barty. Yeah. I don't, don't know what happened there. Maybe something was chasing it. Well, oh, oh no. What? I overspooled it and got hit by a fish. <laughs> oh no, that went pear shaped instantly. Oh no, I'm in trouble. Yeah, he busted me off too. That was a good fish. <laughs> oh, nightmare. Guess I can't show that one. <laughs> overspooled it. Oh, son of a. Uh, I gotta show that, guys. Check out that. I don't know if you can see the line. It's all uh, mulched. So I'm not having a good run with this new setup, actually. Well, actually, it's slowing the hookups, but not landing the fish. That last fish, I don't know, something got hold of that. Whether it's a shark or. But yeah, that just, uh, that just went pear shaped. As soon as I was mucking around with that four lever, yeah. I disengaged it fully, it overspooled, S snapper hit, and it <laughs> locked up and overcoiled, as you'll see from the video, and busted off straight away. So my second Raku down, I'm not having a good run. Barty's hooked up on the other side, oh, another, another panty, so I'm going to try that all again. Round three. So that four lever is quite ingenious actually, speed up or slow down the drop and I put it into warp speed <laughs> and uh, that didn't turn out very good for us. So round round three anyway. Okay we're down. Uh oh that's not good. Cooter. Coots. Maybe I won't go down. No don't. I might be, might be smarter to come up which I'm gonna. Well that's leading into a bit better sign there now isn't it? Nah we'll go back up. Fish on, pal.
Dude, how good are these rakus though? <laughs> yeah, they get smashed. They get a mega smash. That skirt is so sick, dude. Yeah, that's cool. Marcus said out of the package, it's absolute nightmare, and it is. You gotta spread it, it just sticks together, but you see, once it hits the water, it just, it's awesome. He's not wrong. Yeah, nah, we're too late. Let him go straight back in. Those hooks weren't coming out in a hurry, though. Gone. Like a rocket. Four lever stops any overtangling if you've got it set right. It's not over spooling, it like, you know how it annoys yeah, you? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can set it right how you want it, and then it just won't. It's dropping slower, probably, but it's not bouncing back. Yeah, and with so that technically it's going to go down faster. Yeah. Because you're not bouncing back. I've got to say, I'm not an overhead fan. Well, yes I am, yes and no, but because I don't like that bouncing back, but this has just completely wiped that out. Absolutely. This little reel is actually pretty awesome. It's changed my whole demeanor on bait casters dude. Like I was talking before about the spool driven, a lot of them aren't spool driven. They're only lever winds when it comes onto the spool. So when you're winding in, it's guiding it on, on and off. But when you're releasing it out, the, the lever wind's staying still, but the line's conflicting with it. And that's a bit frustrating. But this reel, I am thoroughly impressed with. And every drop with that Raku, I've hooked a fish. Yes, it hasn't gone my way. <laughs> the Ngitsu XR is the same as all the other Ngitsus. They're unbelievable rods. And Shimano lead the market with slow jig rods, that's for sure. And there's nothing on the market that comes close to these. I'm trolling again, pal, where are you? The wind's got up a little bit, which is nice to have a bit of a breeze because it's an oven out here. We're gonna have a couple more slow jigs and then I think we're gonna have some lunch. Barty bacon burgers thanks to the cooking of Dwayne and the boys I've got the Ngitsu and old Rodney rod holder and we're having a little snack pack somewhere out there <laughs> it's probably them there Hi. Just made it back into Nelson. That was a mint ride coming home. Actually, bloody cruisy awesome trip this one, eh, buddy? Today was pretty tough. We were just sort of cruising, trying a few new places and a few new bits and pieces. Trying that new gear, that was classic. That went well and it went bad. Especially when I got that bird's nest, eh? That was gold for the, <laughs> trying to do some media for the new reel release and it birds nested. I got it out finally and did get a snapper on it. So it was wicked to get uh, looked after on the big rig with Dwayne and the boys. That was awesome and uh, cook up our bacon, eggs and hash browns on toast. Yeah, that was pretty cool. KFC. Yeah, they gave us, they dropped us off some KFC and Willie did get a big snapper in the end. That's his first 20 pounder. So we were um, stoked he ended up getting one. Shanos and the boys, they had a big snapper as well, so did Dan and that. Everyone's done well this trip, which is cool, buddy. Got that good kingy. Yeah, not much kingy action today, but the tides weren't quite right. We were pondering about coming up. We weren't actually going to come up because of the way the tides were. We decided we just needed to go for a fish anyway and get away and chill out. And now she's been pretty chilled, eh, pal? Yeah, absolutely. It's good. We ended up with keeping six snapper. Yeah. And we, we tagged some of the uh, snap this afternoon. I, sorry I couldn't film it, guys. It's a bit of a mission with two of us on here trying to film yourself and do it. We did, Barty did have a go at the camera trying to get it straight, but that was a whole, <laughs> a whole thing. I need to train the boys a bit better with the cameras, I think. That would probably 
probably make sense after all this time if I yeah. gave you a bit of a training run with them. Yeah. I've got good at taking photos now. Yeah, that's right, you have actually. <laughs> but it's just turning the cameras on and off, eh? Yeah. No, you're still doing pretty well, pal. Thanks again for watching, team, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Me and Barty were just talking about, it's a little bit bittersweet, actually, the end of Defiant. Should have won't be far away. It might even be one of the last trips, eh? Oh, yeah, oh, it's probably a month away, actually. Mm. So, uh, yeah, guys, the new boat is nearly finished, and it will be on its way. Sadly, I do have to sell Defiant, and it is, uh, I'd stress out about it because I love this boat. I genuinely just love it, eh? We've slaughtered some fish on this boat, eh? That's right. And got some wicked sized fish. I and mean, we, you'd still keep it if it wasn't for the overnighters in there that we, that we do. Yeah. That's the only reason why you go bigger, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just for a bit more comfort for overnighting, guys. But this is still, we make it work on here, yeah. don't we? You know, stretch on the back. What about your marks? Uh, yeah, for $5,000 more, you can have the marks. And there's currently 1,800 marks on the sounder. <laughs> Actually, there's, a, there's five new marks today after we found those snapper in the shallows. Chaos for this time of day. Isn't it? Where's your keys? Uh, might be on the side there. Oh, up there. there man, isn't it? Do you want me to just put you on the end here? Oh, that didn't work well at all. I was say, that wind's blowing you. <laughs> That was good going.